In this lesson, we are going to create a small GK cluster in Google Cloud. So I have enabled my free trial account in Google Cloud and I have hit the URL console.cloud.google.com. So once I hit my URL, basically I come to this Google Cloud and here in order to create a GK cluster, what I need to do, I need to click this navigation menu and from here I can select this Kubernetes engine. Other option could be you go to this search and here you type Kubernetes. So I don't need to type the entire thing. If you see this Kubernetes engine or Kubernetes cluster, it is coming. Let me click on this. So as my Kubernetes engine API is not enabled, this is the first thing that I need to do. I need to enable this. So click over here and wait for some time. Now my Kubernetes API is enabled and it is allowing me to create the Kubernetes cluster. So here you can see I have this create button. Now I can go ahead and create my Kubernetes cluster. But before that I want to do one thing. Here if you see this is the project that is displayed. This is my my first project. So instead of creating this Kubernetes cluster, I want to create it in a separate project. The reason being, if I'm not using the Kubernetes cluster and if I decide to delete the cluster, I'll delete the entire project so that there is no chance of getting additional builds. Let me click on new project. And here I'm providing a name, maybe GK hyphen demo. Click create. Project is created. You can click this select project from this drop down also. You can select it. Anyways, let me click this select project. Now, this is a separate project. Okay, I made a mistake. I enabled the Kubernetes engine API in the first project. I should have created the project first and then enabled the Kubernetes engine API. Anyways, let me enable it once again. Now, once the API is enabled, we see this particular screen which we saw earlier. Click on create. Here we have two options, autopilot and standard. Click on this configure of standard. I'm not going to use autopilot. Let me close all this tooltip and all. Let's type in a cluster name. Location type, let's keep as zonal. Zone US Central C. I'm not changing anything over here. So this is the cluster basic section. Under node pools, we have different things like the default node pool, the size, the number of nodes actually, I'm going to keep it as three. And there are options like enable cluster, auto scaler, specify node locations. Those I'm not going to right now. So going to the cluster basics, we have provided the name, location type is zonal. I'm keeping this as is. Again, if I go back to the default pool and select the node, here we have different customization. We can change the image type over here. I'm not going to change anything. I just want to show you the kind of customization that could be done. The instance sizes, the machines that we are going to use, their series, their type, etc. All this could be changed. The boot disk type, the boot disk size, networking related details also can be changed. Anyways. Going back to the cluster basics, this is what we have. And finally, I'm going to click the create button. Now, this cluster creation should be taking few minutes. It is giving me some insufficient quota problem. Request requires 300 and is short 50. Project has a quota of 250 and 250 available. So let me check what this issue is. Okay, one of the answers that I see, I mean, it's not clear, it's a disk issue. Let me see the nodes, if I can reduce their sizes in that way, if I need lesser disk. So here, let me change this to 50. Yeah, so it was 100, three nodes. So it was taking 300. That's where the problem was. So instead of 300, I'm going to make it 80. Click on create again. This time, the cluster creation has started working finally. Let's wait for a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video. I think it takes around 5 to 10 minutes. Once the cluster is created, I will resume the recording. So now we can see the GK demo cluster, the Kubernetes cluster is created. 
now while we use the cluster that is fine but longer it is there it is going to incur cost so in case you are not using the cluster you don't have any plan to use the cluster anymore what i would suggest you go back to the project as i have created the separate project over here you delete the project itself then whatever resource inside that project if it is only a single gk cluster everything would be gone so that is one way otherwise if you have a plan to use the cluster what you can do you can reduce its size to zero the number of nodes could be reduced to zero so the charges would be lesser for that what you need to do you need to click this three dots this actions button click edit just beside this detail you have nodes now click the name of this node pool that is default click on edit change the number of nodes to zero scroll down click on save So now if I go back to the clusters and if you wait for a while it is right now it's updating the status number of node would become zero. So similar way when I want to use the cluster I can go to the same location and increase the node count maybe to three or maybe some other number and use the cluster according. So the first option would be to delete the project itself it, if it does not have anything and I don't need to use the cluster so that I don't incur any charge at all. Otherwise, if you have planned to use it later on, maybe within few hours or within a day or two, you can just resize the cluster the way I did.